fluted panels that I have and the French mirror wall. Let's open the other panel. There's a brand new car, Tara! <laughs> After the hallway, you will be greeted by the very minimalist living room. Baka meron na matapos the script. <laughs> Finally, if I come here often, you know. people welcome back to my channel i hope you're all safe and well and i hope your january is going well so far because as for me i am very excited because today i am going to give you a tour of my work hub slash mini office None of this would be possible without the help of my interior designer, ever loyal interior designer, Miss Jaisel de los Reyes Go. So thank you so much, Miss Jaisel. So shall we start? So upon entrance, mahakita nyo agad yung fluted panels that I have and the French mirror wall. So gusto ko mag create ng parang minimalist and fluid hallway. So meron din parang arch at the end of the hallway. Kasi gusto ko na parang meron siyang grand entrance. Just to give you an idea, I opted to go for the Japan D style, meaning the Japanese Scandinavian style. So I wanted to achieve three different things. I wanted to achieve simplicity. Also, I wanted to have a calming space. And also, I wanted a functional space. So, on with the tour. Shout out to Ibarreta CS Space Edge Contractors. They did this fluted panels that I love so much, and also these mirrors. Functionality is key, guys. It also serves as like a wall, so it's aesthetically pleasing. But it also hides the kitchenette. So we have a kitchenette here. This is made of Carrara marble, just like what I have in Spain. Na soon, eventually, bibigyan ko kayo ng tour of my Spain apartment. Pero sa kanayon, guys. Of course, we have coffee here. We have the sink there. We have microwave and the coffee maker. So, we also have storage spaces here. And you may be wondering, bakit wala kaming gas stove or hood dito? It's because I really don't see myself cooking in here. Siyempre, hindi rin mga food. Alam <laughs> Team bigatin kami, hindi mawawala yan. <laughs> See, all the glasses are here. Yung choices ko. Gusto ko lang yung white lang. Yung parang wabi-sabi style na imperfect. And just parang very Japanese. Yung no-nonsense. Of course, the utensils are here also. Let's open the other panel. There's a brand new car! Char! <laughs> So now you will see the other side of the kitchenette. Baka maitanong nyo, bakit ko ba lilagyan ng enclosure? Upon entrance kasi, makikita mo agad yung kitchenette and it doesn't really look that professional. As much as ayoko rin na sobrang stiff nung uh, mini office or co-working space ko, also gusto ko rin siyang bigyan ng konting formality in a way. Business-like. So more uh, snacks, a uh, full fridge. <laughs> Also, I'll show you, baka kasi nagpapagawa kayo ng bahay and this is um, a hack or an idea that you can also use. So, kung hindi mo siya tititigan, hindi mo makikita na nandito ang aming electrical panel board. Parang in some other condos, kasi medyo nagiging eyesore siya, di ba? You can find ways to actually hide them. So, do you wanna see my bathroom? It's just a decent sized bathroom. It's not that big, it's not that small. Again, I have Carrara marble here. I requested to kay Ms. Jaisal because I really like the lines. Niya. I feel like it's not too much, also not too little. I love that it's kind of gray. It's not too white or it's not too dark. And of course, the tiles. Of course, the wall tiles. It may look like marble, but it's actually not marble. These are just tiles. But it looks so good na hindi mo siya mahalata masyado. Na parang very seamless then from Carrara to the tiles. I, I have to say, they're really good at doing it. Of course, may continuity yung 
panels natin, the fluted panels. I still have them here. I also love the style of the mirror that we put here. Parang it's imperfect. Again, I wanted to like use the Wabi Sabi um, philosophy here. Na parang it looks imperfect, but it's perfect for this space. And I love this bulb here. Of course, we have real orchids here to bring the outside in. Of course, the toilet is here. This may come as a surprise, but actually we have a decent-sized shower area here. Also, the um, glass enclosure. I want the glass enclosure. I want to put a sa labas ng shower area. I want to put a lot of the bathroom. And I love this. Actually, I would like to also thank King Sue Aluminum and Glass because they've been my suppliers. It's a lahat lahat na mga properties ko and I I have to say talaga very matibay at saka maaasahan sila. Hello King Sue. After the hallway, you will be greeted by the very minimalist living room. So we have here again with a marble top coffee table or center table. Also, we have like a very simple couch. We have the Solihia uh, armchair. Again, so sabihin ko may continuity ulit, no? It looks super subdued. Lahat ng color score are just like neutrals. Wala ko yung parang overpowering. You may probably uh, recognize this. This is a sculpture by Michael Cagno. This came from my house and I just thought, you know, parang maganda siya dito sa center table ko. So I just brought it here. All the furniture in this area, actually in the whole place, is made by Francisco Furniture. So thank you, Shao. Out. Siyempre, meron kaming TV. Siyempre, kapag panonoorin naman yung mga content that we are about to upload or we have already uploaded or if meron kaming pag-aaralan na content that we want to use eventually or gusto namin i-explore. Also, parang naisip ko, I would come here to like read my scripts or study a specific movie that I want to do or like even write. Baka meron na ako matapos na script. <laughs> Finally, if I come here often, you know. Kung yung bahay ko is my sanctuary and kung napanood yung house tour ko, yes, I have a little office there as well. But during the pandemic, parang naging yung sanctuary ko, parang napupuntahan na rin siya ng trabaho at nai-invade na siya ng trabaho ko. So parang ito yung naging idea ko to bring my work outside the house. Although it's really, really not that far from my house. But still, at least it's not in my home which is like my relaxation area so yun yung reason behind this and again with the fluted panels siguro kung magka Pinterest kayo makikita nyo kung Japan di yung style that you would want to like use for your future house ito yung parang staple for like Japanese style or Japanese Scandinavian style so when you close all the panels here it's made out of like three panels you will see that there are like shelves here. So, gusto ko yung mga ganito, mga natural materials. Time because time is cool. Charot. <laughs> Parang you you will see like different things here and there na may not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. You know, it's all about you know putting your personal touch in the place. So there, actually, ato ni regalo sa akin to ni Miss Jason. Ito. I don't know, driftwood. Kasi gusto namin ni Miss Jaisal parate sa lahat ng places that we would do or we would develop. Gusto namin yung merong parang vintage piece. Kahit na mukha siyang modern, gusto ko merong parang vintage piece. So in this area, you will see still the fluted panels with the LED light, which I think is brilliant. Parang may drama at night. If you see this at night, it's really beautiful kasi uh, you can like host drinking sessions here with your friends or with my team or you know, parang kung nag-brainstorm kami, we can, you know, do that over some drinks. It's a good creative space. So we also have the dining area slash boardroom. <laughs> Guys, it's just really a small space. Sometimes I get ready here for work kasi nga ayoko nang ginagawa yun sa bahay. So sometimes dito kami kumakain before you would get ready for work or they would bring their laptops here and talk about the future projects or future content that we would do. So this is a marble um, top dining table. 
again. And hindi ko napapakita sa inyo, just like dun sa center table. Para siyang fluted panels din. So, again, meron siyang fluidity and continuity. And tina mo, etong etong dining chair, para siyang canvas na hindi siya super smooth, which I really like so much. And we have scented candles here. I like this very much also, kapag at night. It looks very modern and very simple. It gives out like a very dramatic type of lighting. All the lights, lahat ng lamps, lahat ng lighting fixtures namin, nang galing sa Asurvio. So thank you, Asurvio. Of course, we have some beautiful curtains here. It's not so white. It's parang cream-ish, which I love. Thank you, MCG and House of Curtains. Parang meron kami dito ng cushion type na... I don't know, guys, hindi ko alam kung ano yung tawag because I'm not an interior designer, but ito yung nag-hide dun sa rod ng curtains. This is made of uh, cushion, which is very nice. Parang kapareho ng dining chairs ko. So, when you open it up, you will see the beautiful sunset <laughs> of Quezon City. And you can even open this up. It's so nice. Kahit at night, makikita mo, parang overlooking yung, yung Quezon City. Makikita mo siya. So, it's really, really nice. So, we have here a console table with this pretty and cute light from Asurvio. Meron kaming um, branch na nilagay dito. Of course, with the Solihia material here. Ito na yung mga office supplies namin. <laughs> Kakatur over lang sa akin ni Ms. Jaisal. Parang hindi ko pa siya masyadang gamit. Parang twice pa lang ako nagpunta dito for a meeting. But I would say like, this is perfect for me. Even though it's really small, it's not like the other offices. But I would reiterate, it's really not an office space. It's more like a creative hub for me and my team. So dito sa area na to, we have like a coffee table. Actually, pang ano lang to eh, parang extra chairs and uh, coffee table. We can take it out. Kung napanood niyo yung um, office tour ko, yung pre-construction, yung bala ko dito dapat, at yung office ko talaga, dito dapat yung personal space ko, tapos lalagyan ko dapat dito ng French door. Pero naisip ko parang, it doesn't really make sense kasi whenever my team, may be my glam team or my digital team or a manager ko, hindi mo ako talaga lalayo sa kanila. Of course, I don't want to talk to them. So, it doesn't make sense like putting like a division. So, parang mas naisip ko na lang na maglagay ng backdrops here. Kasi whenever I would get ready here, gusto namin kumuha ng mga portraits or like OOTD. Parang it just makes more sense kung maglalagay na lang kami ng different backdrops for you and for my team. <laughs> so this is just like an open space so you know we can do whatever here what I like about this whole condo is because nasabi ko na to dun sa huling tour ko pre-construction I like the ceilings they're really high I love that it's you know enveloped with a lot of glass windows so lahat ng light talaga pumapasok di ba yung sunlight biyaya yan so Dahil workspace namin to, you know, ang ganda na parang you're basking on blessings after blessings after blessings. So for me, it's really a good space to work in. And just like what I've mentioned during the empty office tour, of course, this is uh, one of Santa Lucia's properties. And na mentioned ko na to before na I started investing in Santa Lucia when I was 15 years old. I bought my first house from Santa Lucia, and ever since then, nagstart na talaga ako mag-invest real estate with Santa Lucia and I've never regretted a day na ginawa ko yun. So, if you are looking to invest in properties or if you wanna, you know, buy your dream house, it is good to actually check their socials at Santa Lucia Properties or at Santa Lucia Land. I will put the link down below on the comment box para mag-start na kayo. A wise woman once told me the best time to invest is always now. Let's go to the balcony. So this is the last part of the tour. So we have a small balcony here. Ito yung gusto kong like area where they could breathe or kalabaw kung talagang you're stressed out. It's just so nice to come out here and you know look out and parang sa laki ng space na to magigita mo you just really a speck of dust. Parang you can just have coffee here or have wine here. Kaya na ngayon, medyo rush hour, kaya medyo maingay. Pero at night, promise, hindi ito maingay. So we have here like a wall. Kasi 
sa behind this, uh, may mga air conditioning. Yung likod ng air conditioning. Ayaw ko silang nakikita. So, kung meron kayong mga eyesore na sa areas ng bahay ninyo, this is a good idea. So, we also put some green turf here. Kasi gusto ko parang paglabas mo, parang natural pa rin yung itsura ng place. Tapos, naglagay si Miss Jaisal ng parang cute na, I don't know, kung parang wire siya with like, I don't know, cacti na nandyan. Parang cute lang niya na, you know, piece of art. So there, this concludes my work hub tour. I hope you enjoyed it. For me, kasi ako, parang, I know this won't be my last office or work hub. It's just for me and my team. It's not for a big group of people. Mas gusto ko kasing i-compartmentalize yung buhay ko. Like, when I'm at home, that's my place of relaxation. When I come here, gusto ko na, you know, I can be creative, you know, I can explore different things. Lahat ng nasa utak ko na gusto ko ma-achieve, I can just write it down and, you know, bounce it off with people that could help me as well. And when I'm at GMA or when I'm working, doing TV ads, yun naman yung artista or celebrity hat ko. So, I like wearing different hats. And gusto ko, meron akong place para i-perform yung tasks ko whenever I would, you know, wear different hats. Siguro ang laking purpose nitong work hub na to para sa akin. So, there, I hope uh, kung meron kayo mga suggestions on how I can uh, improve this space even more, please comment down below. And again, th I thank you so much for subscribing and liking all my videos. I wish you a happy, happy New Year. Sana naging maganda ang takbo ng January niyo. At sana, dahil love month na next month, sana pinakita na kayo mga love to ones ninyo. And uh, if you have like a more vlog recommendations or collaborations, please comment down below. I read them all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget, life is beautiful.